Then they had to guard in Jamaat. There are three books there. Um, okay, so what I, what I showed here, who wants to play and try to explore his house in Netherlands? <laughs> <laughs> Just come here, whoever wants to play, and if you get uh, in less, then you have two minutes to make either of the lights to be turned on. So you can do either 2048 in two minutes, which is really hard. No, it's not possible. <laughs> yeah, you try it, <laughs> or you can turn on the red light by messing up with the game. If you do that in less than two minutes, you get a t-shirt as well. Anybody wants to come here? All right, yeah. awesome. So you play, and I will be, I will be playing here. So never mind. Let's see, let's see how fun you go. So. Can you can you make 2048 on that green? Oh, no, not sure. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so. You're busted now. Uh -huh. So, if you want to play, so uh, uh, who hasn't played yet? Uh, okay, there is a tip. You only go to two directions, always. Down and left, down and left, down and left. If there is no move, then you go up or right. right? You, can, you can play with left and right, it's fine. But try to always put the higher numbers on your bottom left or bottom right if you're um, right hand or left hand, I don't know. <laughs> you lost. <laughs> Man, the lights on. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Did you a t-shirt? He was an identitarist. Yeah. Hi, in this follow-up, uh, I want to show you how the previous demo was set up, where a result of a 2048 game uh, turned on uh, lights based on the results. So, uh, as many of you probably will know, uh, the PyDOM server uh, recently had a uh, MQTT broker included, which is enabled by default. And uh, with, this, uh, with this broker, you can publish uh, sensor data or other data too, and integrate this within PyDOM. So uh, what we have done, uh, or what you have to do, is create a custom device. Uh, with a custom device, you create a device skeleton, so the server knows how your device looks like. So what we have done is, or what I have done is, uh, I created uh, a device which is called 2048 game, and I'm going to show you how it's set up. Uh, this is the custom device editor uh, where you can um, well create your device skeleton. So if you open it for the first time, you already have a group, and then you can um, um, pick up one of these controls and move it over here. So I'm going to show you the fields used. Um, a device is uh, built up with groups and controls, and when you click on the little wrench, you can see the group details. Uh, I've got a group ID of game and a group name game. So you have to remember these, or well, you don't because later uh, you will see it. And I've added a data field, which is just a, a simple field which shows only data. It's called uh, the controller ID is called result. The name is game result. It's a string type, and I will show you later on why. It doesn't need a graph, it's not hidden. Uh, it does not have any prefix or suffixes. So, when you uh, click Save Device, which is now Update Device, uh, the device skeleton will be created, and then you have to add this device to the server. So over here you have the Devices, Add, Remove and Settings, and as you can see over here, uh, I've already added this device. So I'm going to click Edit. You will get the device details over here. So the descriptive name is 2048 game result handle. Um, it's just a descriptive name, uh, just so you know which device uh, you are um, busy with. No special things uh, with it and further on. Uh, the only thing that it does is it collects the data which will be sent to the MQTT broker. 
Now you have to know uh, to uh, which uh, subject you have to publish your data. So when the device is created and added, you need to go to uh, plugin management, device plugins, because it's a plugin specific for devices. And when you press view, you can see here the device that has been added. And here you will see the topic you have to publish your data to. So this is the, the group name and this is the control name. So you can publish to this, the server will recognize it and you can use it within rules and other stuff, which I will also show you. Uh, so what we have done is we took the game 2048, uh, pulled it from Git. So here it is. What we've done is just set up a uh, client. Uh, this is the host, port, client ID, uh, just some you know, small connection details. And of course some code so we can publish it. So here you see it's been published to hooks, devices, this is the internal device ID game result, which is the same as you see over here. And the results we are sending is uh, win, so when you win a game, last, when you have lost a game, and start when you uh, start a game. To integrate this uh, in the server with other devices, uh, we have used uh, Philips U lighting. So with uh, light devices from the Philips U, we can uh, turn it on, turn it off, change color, etc. So we have set up a um, couple of rules. And uh, this is used with the automation rules. So here we have a rule for starting, a rule for lost, and a rule for win. And here for lights off after the result is known. Uh, I had to set up a couple of rules because um, these rules were set up using a VPN and I got a, a lot of package losses. So with a small data sent, uh, these rules were created. So what we do when you lose a game? So, very simple rule. Um, what we've done is just create an if. And this is the game result, handle game result, as you have seen previously. And when it's equal to the string lost, and which is, let me see, this string. When it's lost, um, it uh, shows a uh, notification. These notifications are on the right button. And it runs a macro lost 2048. Oh, I can show you the macro last 2048. Let me see it over here. It's at the ceiling, I turn it on, it makes it red, and another light is also turned on and also made red. So when you lost the game, two lights are uh, switched on and turned red. Well, you don't want to keep the lights on, so we have another rule, lights off after a result. And um, I've done here is another rule, instead of an if, I have a repeat while. So as long as the current user status equals playing 2048, run these rules, and if the status of uh, the living room ceiling, which is one of these uh, lights, is on for at least five seconds, then run the macro all lights off. Well, all lights off is also an other, an other macro which is used with uh, all the lights that has been uh, added to the server. And let me see, all lights off. So here, so it just turns it off. And uh, here's the other macro for turning the lights on when you want. Turn it on to make sure it's on and turn the light to green. Which is let me see this rule. So this is how we uh, created uh, the interface between the JFX 2048 uh, game uh, to post results to the uh, Python server and um, with the 
the game as a device added to the server. You can, um, yeah, you can control other stuff in your in your house. So this is how it's done. And um, if you create some stuff yourself, you now know how to do it. Okay, bye bye.